Cat allergies can be a bit difficult to understand and pin down. It's certainly possible that you can suffer an obvious allergic reaction while being around certain cats, yet have no problem in the world when you're around other cats. This can lead people to believe that only certain cats are to blame for their allergy woes. Well, that's partially true. If you're allergic to cats, you're allergic to cats. Just because some cats trigger more outward symptoms than others doesn't mean you're not allergic to others. Cat allergies are across the board. If you've got them, you've got them. So that begs the question, why do allergy symptoms flare up more often when you're in the company of some cats compared to others? It's vital to note that allergies of this fashion are not caused by the mere presence of a feline. Dander is the culprit, comprised of dead skin cells, dry urine, and saliva. Dander is ground zero, courtesy of a glycoprotein known as FELD1. This is what triggers an allergic reaction. And once again, just because some reactions are more obvious than others doesn't mean the reaction isn't taking place. Some cats simply have more FELD1 than others. This is the root of the matter. And it is why some reactions are indeed stronger than others. Unneutered male felines can trigger the worst allergy symptoms. It's also important to note that just because you have cat allergies doesn't mean you need to jump ship and abort all contact with cats. It also doesn't mean you can predict a reaction based on breed alone. Now that we've built a strong foundation, let's jump headlong into this topic. Today we'll cover the symptoms of cat allergies, a bit more concerning why some cats are greater allergy offenders than others, and we'll close things out by having a look at some quote-unquote potential hypoallergenic felines. Before we begin in full, we'd like to take a moment to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to join us. Thank you for your time and thank you for your support. Now, let's continue on. Roughly 10% of the general population are allergic to domestic animals. When it comes to cat allergies, the numbers are twice as likely compared to that of dogs. So, what are the symptoms of a cat allergy? Sneezing, coughing, and wheezing in often uncontrollable fashion. Itchiness around the eyes, a runny nose and nasal congestion, skin breakout, hives, over the face and chest, and inflammation and redness on any portion of the skin that has touched a cat. If these symptoms, especially if they are in clusters, develop when you're in close proximity to a cat, then an allergic reaction is likely to blame. As noted in our introduction, this can trigger symptoms and also trigger some confusion. It's not a one-size-fits-all situation. You could check the symptom box across the board as you encounter cat A, yet exhibit next to no symptoms as you interact with cat B. This is where Fel D1 enters the conversation for it is the foundation of all cat allergies, FELD1, and how much a given cat produces. While we've talked about the release of dander and FELD1, it should also be stated that cat fur and fur length has really nothing to do with increased allergy symptoms. More fur and or fur shedding is not really all that relevant, at least from the standpoint that more equals worse. Long-haired cats actually release less dander, this is because long-haired felines hold proteins against their skin. FELD1 is more or less trapped in the abundance of fur, thus impacting you less. Additionally, females release less FELD1 than males. Males that are unfixed, as we have noted earlier, can produce a substantial amount of dander. And here comes the tricky part. While there is no true science to fully bear it out, some cats are indeed considered, at least to some degree, hypoallergenic meaning they should not provoke an allergic reaction. While we all know that cats will provoke some type of response from you if you are indeed allergic, the overall belief or consensus is that hypoallergenic cats will produce a response that can largely go unnoticed. Here are a few breeds to be mindful of. The Devon or Cornish Rex, the Balinese, Javanese, Bengal, Oriental or Color Point Shorthair, the Russian Blue, and the Siberian. If you're searching for potentially the safest of the safe, that will be the Sphinx. This breed of cat is bald. They have no fur to shed, although they do have dead skin cells, urine traces, and saliva. And the latter can certainly cause a reaction almost immediately if you are licked. The Sphinx is about as safe as one can hope for. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video portion of this material, but our coverage of this subject matter is far from over. If you'd like more information, we respectfully invite you to visit us at SeniorCatWellness.com. 
There you will find a detailed article that covers the topic of cat allergies from A to Z. In addition to what's been covered in this video, you will also find valuable information concerning immunity, allergy treatment options, and allergy prevention methods. We've left no stone unturned. If you're currently watching us offsite, please click the initial link in the description box below that is available to you. Said link will take you to our in-depth reading material. Thank you so much for your time. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you so much for watching and joining us today. Much appreciated. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.